Welcome to episode 4 of Concise Game Reviews. I'm your host, Rally Car Delta. Today's review features Diablo Mortal, developed by Blizzard Entertainment NetEase. As expected, the publisher is Activision Blizzard. The game in question can be downloaded on mobile iOS and Android, and there's a PC beta client available on Blizzard's Battle.net storefront. Now, on with the review. Blizzard Entertainment revealed Diablo Immortal to the world in November of 2018. In what is now seen as one of Blizzard's most infamous communication blunders, the company revealed an upcoming mobile version of Diablo to a room full of PC gaming enthusiasts. There was really nothing wrong with the idea of mobile Diablo, but revealing it at BlizzCon 2018 was arguably the wrong venue. We don't need to rehash that story here, but let's just say it did not go over well. Fast forward to 2022 and Diablo Immortal is finally upon us. In order to repair for this review, I played two different versions of the game, the Android client via my Galaxy Note 20 and the PC beta client. It should be noted that the PC client was not part of the original release plan, and Diablo Immortal is first and foremost a mobile-oriented title. I bring that point up because many of the design choices and monetization options are clearly centered around the mobile-oriented consumer. More on that in a moment, but let's cover the gameplay first. Diablo Immortal is an action RPG quite similar in function to their previous title, Diablo 3. In other words, it's an isometric, action-oriented, monster-slaying adventure. As with most ARPG titles, the story creates a foundation for the game world, but the hook that keeps the player coming back is the real-time combat and constant equipment treadmill, or loot for short. A typical play session will find the player looting dozens upon dozens of new gear choices and constantly comparing that gear to their current set in a never-ending quest to build the perfect warrior or mage or crusader or whatever class the player chose. Personally, I enjoyed the combat and loot hunt in the game. The developers did a great job of bringing the action of Diablo to a mobile screen. It works surprisingly well. The game also includes a plethora of accessibility and quality of life options. I hope Blizzard keeps many of these features in their next mainline title, Diablo 4. As for the PC version of the game, it was functional. It's definitely not feature complete at the moment, but it does work. We can't end this review without talking about the elephant in the room. How does Diablo Immortal monetize the player? It depends on how you look at it. Make no mistake, the game is a well-constructed mobile action experience, but Blizzard and NetEase employ almost every free-to-play strategy here. There's a battle pass, there's multiple currencies, they offer one-time bundles at discount rates, etc, etc. The encouragement to pay up becomes stronger the longer the player decides to engage with the experience. Remember, this is a free-to-play game, but game dev salaries don't pay for themselves. Ultimately, it comes down to this. Players that choose to download Diablo Immortal and only play it occasionally, or just want to experience the story content, can easily do that without spending a dime. Blizzard includes a ton of free content here that doesn't require monetization. If you do choose to spend money on it, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The most controversial part of this game is the intense monetization of the extreme late game experience. It's hard for me to judge what's fair and what's out of bounds, so to speak, so I'll leave you with this. I found Diablo Immortal to be a generally enjoyable experience with excellent production values, especially for a mobile product. I even bought the Battle Pass to essentially pay for the content that I enjoyed. In that sense, Diablo Immortal largely comes down to the individual experience. I can certainly understand if someone is turned off by the monetization of Diablo, and I wouldn't blame them for walking away. Personally, I enjoyed it. And with that, we'll end this review. This is Rally Car Delta, signing out.